Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the difference between using the back face masking with and without. So I have this model here and I have this tip here. And uh, I think this is a good example for showing the difference between the move tool BMV with and without the back face masking. So if I move it, it's going to feel like this, or it's going to behave like this. It's going to move the whole area where the brush is going. Like, even if I go here to the tangent area, right, it's still moving the whole chunk. However, if I go into the brush, all the way down to the auto masking, there's this section here, back face mask. And I can actually uh, dock this, so I can always activate it and deactivate it so you can see the difference. Now that it is activated, notice here, what it does is that the area that is influenced by the brush pressure or selection, it's going to behave as if it's masked in a way that only the touched area with the brush will be affected as if I'm using a mask, hence the name back face masking. So this is how it's going to go. The area here is not really suffering through that movement. So before the back face masking activated, again, even, even just holding the very tip of that tangent and with the back face masking, so you can, you can imagine how this could be useful in a way that you can modify the surfaces um, solely just on the touched areas I suppose to just modifying in a mushy way the uh, whole geometry. I hope this helps.